<laughs> I know it's only September, but it feels like fall outside. It's cloudy. It's like mid to high 60s outside. It feels like fall. I thought it would be great to do a little bit of a little life update, a little catch up on our family. So London just started gymnastics last week and showing so many signs of tumbling and somersaults and like headstands with legs in the air. <laughs> and so I thought, you know what, we should put her in a gymnastics class. She started last week and she is loving it. And I thought it would be nice for her to do something just all on her own. You know, Brecken and London are twins, they're together 99.9% .9 of the time. And I thought her doing something special like this um, would be really great for her just to kind of feel independent and her own person. Oh, what else is next? Oh, I got my lips done, <laughs> as some of you probably could have seen in yesterday's content. Um, I get it done once a year. Thank you, Dr. Sami at Sam Aesthetics in Encinitas. I've been going to him for five years now, even before he opened his own practice. If you didn't know me before then, my, I had like no upper lip, so my upper lip was like non-existent. It's hard to fold it in because I just got these done a couple days ago. <laughs> so they're still a little tender. Help me boost my confidence with with my smile and just with my modeling, as a lot of you like to say. <laughs> I posted a story on my Instagram yesterday. Chris got me a beautiful bouquet of flowers from a local florist in the area. I had hit a very huge milestone, um, very huge milestone with my business, um, with my content creation business and um, traveling for work, and, you know, bringing more of that visibility to positive parenting, fatherhood, etc. It's crazy. I, I never thought in a million years, three years ago when we started sharing our surrogacy journey to kind of bring more visibility and representation to it and education to it, that it would turn into this business where I can still do what I love to do every single day and that's be home with my kids with help with from Miss Allison and to be able to share organic and uplifting content about being a father, positive parenting, LGBTQ family, and obviously at the same time, partner with brands that I already use and love um, or work with brands that I've never worked with before I get to try them out to see if it's something that works well for, for me or for our family and to be able to spread that same joy and, and knowledge with, um, with our communities here on social media. I'm just so grateful and so honored and so blessed that I get to do what I love. I used to have a nine to five job prior to COVID, working in hospitality and sales and would travel and we would be gone 12 hours a day from work every single day. And I'm just so grateful that I get to be home and super present with my kids. As you guys know, I'm, Chris and I are going to Italy in just a couple weeks to celebrate his 40th birthday. The kids are going to stay home. They're not coming with us. A lot of people are saying, are you bringing them? And I'm like, no, our two and a half year olds would not enjoy a 12 hour flight, time change, being shoveled around through hotels, Italy, all that stuff. We can't wait to do that with them, but we want to wait till they are old enough to where they are fully potty trained. They are fully verbal. They can adapt to the time change and also remember um, trips like that. They're going to be super happy. Um, and comfortable here in their own beds. Miss Allison and her daughter Soso are moving in for the two weeks that we're gone, so they're gonna have a blast. Grandma and Grandpa are coming, Mimi is coming, Great Grandma Virginia, Grandma Dee Dee. They're gonna go to Disneyland, they're gonna possibly go to the San Diego Zoo, they're gonna do park visits and play dates. London's gonna be able to continue doing her gymnastics, so um, they are going to be much happier <laughs> being here. I know Chris and I will miss them so, so, so much. Um, but I know that this um, time away will be really great for the two of us to reconnect. But I literally got a call yesterday from my manager. And he had said, are you available on September 28th? Um, and turns out a certain brand had their eyes on me to attend a festival in New York City. Chris and I, we did the Sheridan staycation with the kiddos and Miss Allison earlier this month. Uh, and I went on a very quick brand trip with my dad to Portland, Oregon. And when we got home over a week ago, it was pretty much like, okay, staying home, not going anywhere. We four weeks left before we leave for Italy. Then of course, this opportunity landed in my lap. Something that I didn't say yes to right away, because I really don't want to be away from, from them before we leave, but the opportunity to be able to work with said brand, to build a relationship with said brand. So um, I'm, I'm going to New York. Uh, a week from tomorrow. <laughs> I'm only going to be gone a couple nights and then I'll be home for another 10 days before we leave um, for Europe. This life that is so crazy right now, I'm so grateful for and I'm so blessed. I'm doing my, my best to, to not complain or feel guilty. 
I know that what I'm doing is, is for my kids, is for our family's well-being. For me, the fact that I'm able to continue to do this and to still stay authentically me, refuse to not just say yes to everything, uh, and Lord knows we get a lot of inquiries from brands and, and things uh, for me to participate in. Uh, let's see, Brecken and London had their two and a half year appointment uh, a week ago. Brecken is almost 40 pounds. Ridiculous, he is such, he's our, he's our tank. London's just a few pounds away from him, both stretching out. They have gone through a couple growth spurts over the last uh, month or two. Sometimes overnight I wake up and I see their faces and I'm like, I don't even, I don't even recognize you. My little babies are growing. And, or another thing that I wanted to share, Chris and I are seeing our marriage counselor again. We're going back into couples therapy. Just because you, you go into therapy doesn't mean that your marriage and life is in shambles, that you're on the verge of divorce. You know, some, in some cases that may be, but for us, we really love to make sure that we dial in and we take any bumps in the road seriously, especially if we can't seem to navigate and fix it on our own, I think. Bringing in our therapist really does help with that. I am a big, big advocate of self-care and mental health. Going to couples therapy can definitely help and make, make us stronger. Last but not least, uh, I joined a gym called Orange Theory. I was doing Pure Bar for a few months and really liked it, but really wanted more core and strength training. Um, I think that's enough updates for now, but like I said, just wanted to check in and do a little life update, but, but as always, I love each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for the support, for all of your kind words, and for just being a part of our online family. I'll do another life update with you guys very soon. Take care.